Please welcome Roberta Levy Lees. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. All four of my grandparents immigrated to the United States from a small town in Greece. They needed to start their lives over and raise their family in an environment that was free of poverty, religious persecution, starvation, and war. Thank God they made this decision because the rest of the family perished in the Holocaust. My grandparents knew that when they got to America, they had to persevere and prosper without affluence, influence, power, and resources. It only took one generation. They and their children built strong Jewish families, successful businesses, and a synagogue in, the lower, in lower Manhattan to, pers to preserve and perpetuate the unique Jewish Greek heritage in America. They built a community with members that came to support each other, teach one another, and ensure that future generations could grow stronger and, and become an important fiber in the emerging fabric of an evolving United States of America. Their accomplishments and those of my parents, and thank God my mom is here with us today. Those accomplishments and those of my parents became the foundation of my desire to become a builder. I wanted to become involved in the construction of beautiful buildings, neighborhoods, infrastructures, and great environments. My legacy, I thought, would be to contribute to the American skyline. So I enrolled in architecture and engineering school earned my degree, and created some really cool spaces and buildings. I started working in construction sites beginning in the 1980s. Having no female role models, I had to figure everything out. Even the smallest of details, including what to wear, what's the proper wardrobe, how to deal with tough people, when to ask questions, and ways to hold my ground. So I had to build my own community of trusted friends and colleagues and they helped my career flourish. In return, I decided that the best and most gratifying development project for me was to return the favor to the future generations of young women and men. So when I look across the skyline of cities, I look not across the tops of the buildings, but rather the larger community of successful, happy, and powerful women and men I've mentored in my community. So here's my pearl. Pay it forward. Donate your time and knowledge to the young people. Become a role model and become an inspiration. This will fulfill you now deeply and, and deeply empower our younger generation for tomorrow. Thank you, JWI, for this wonderful honor. <laughs>